Did you know that Nazi Germany, infamous for its atrocities, also was a social democratic government? Stick with me as we unravel this complex and contentious side of history. First let's talk about labor. The Nazi regime was highly focused on reducing unemployment. They created massive public works projects like the Autobahn, which provided jobs for thousands of Germans. Unemployment plummeted from over 6 million to virtually zero within just a few years. On the surface, this might seem like a positive social policy. Additionally, Nazi Germany implemented several social welfare programs. They promoted the concept of Volksgemeinschaft, or people's community, which aimed to unify the German people across class divides. Measures such as subsidized housing, affordable leisure activities and healthcare were introduced to serve this vision. Gemeinschaft Kraft durch Freude, German for strength through joy, was a German NSDAP-operated leisure organization in Nazi Germany. It was part of the German labor front propaganda. But here's the catch. These so-called progressive policies had sinister undertones. The Nazi regime's social programs were designed to gain public support and consolidate power rather than genuinely improve society. Now let's address the elephant in the room, the immigration laws. The same government that built public works and provided social welfare also enforced extreme racial and immigration policies. Their policies systematically excluded marginalized groups from society, leading to horrific consequences. The Nazis' economic and social strategies were, in part, funded by looted wealth from targeted groups as well as forced labor. So, when we talk about their progressive policies, it's essential to see the full picture. Even in education, the Nazis made strides, but at a cost. They promoted physical fitness, vocational training and technological advancement. So, was Nazi Germany a social democrat progressive government? It's a mixed bag. While they implemented policies that could be viewed as socially progressive, these were inextricably linked to their oppressive agenda. Understanding this complexity helps us avoid simplistic narratives and appreciate the multifaceted nature of history. It's crucial to recognize that progressive policies can be twisted to serve dark purposes. Remember, history isn't just black and white, it's a spectrum of shades. The story of Nazi Germany is a grim reminder that we must always scrutinize the full context. Nazi Germany was not a dictatorship. It was a social democratic government, very similar to the Social Democratic Party in US today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into history's complicated stories.